Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? Muchísimas gracias por vuestra asistencia. Muy buenas tardes. Ya sabéis que lo que nos aguarda esta tarde aquí es realmente muy especial y es un privilegio a nivel personal poder participar de ello y, y, bueno, y, y desde luego que lo hagamos todos. Sabéis que es una masterclass con la cual nos va a deleitar prestigioso pianista al que todos conocéis muy bien y al que todos admiramos en el plano personal y por supuesto en el artístico, claro que sí, el gran Lan Lan nos acompaña hoy. Eh, justamente además sabéis que dio un concierto ayer en el Palau de la Música, fue todo un éxito, eh, los reportes de prensa desde luego en el periódico Levante fueron muy elogiosos, como no podía ser de otra manera porque fue un concierto maravilloso, en la técnica que vamos a decir de Lang Lang, desde luego el repertorio es algo extraordinario, es algo extraordinario. Y aparte, como, como dicen los anglosajones, no quedó ni una entrada, quedó sold out. Es verdad que allá donde va Lang Lang, eh, como decimos popularmente, lo peta, ¿verdad? Bueno, y aparte agradezco mucho que este auditorio esté tan, tan lleno de gente tan joven y tan entusiasta por la música, por la música clásica. Me dicen que está, eh, por contra del uso habitual, aquí sí está permitido... Eh, el uso de móviles, si os apetece hacer alguna fotografía, por supuesto a mí no, claro, cuando salga el maestro. Eh, podéis tuitear eh, abiertamente, en fin, podéis comentar, en fin, relajadamente esto que sea una, una masterclass, pero bueno, que estemos a gusto, ¿verdad? Todos. Eh, os hablaré un poco de, de Lang Lang, aunque antes quiero presentarles a nuestro colaborador eh, musical aquí en el escenario, por si necesitamos cualquier aclaración al respecto de temas musicales, algún comentario que realice Lang Lang, alguna aclaración que, que querráis, desde luego es un, es un gran experto y va a participar en la sesión con él. Es natural de Campillos, en Málaga. Eh, obtiene el título superior de piano en el Real Conservatorio Superior de Música de Madrid. Tiene título de concertista en el Amsterdam Conservatorium. Tras una carrera llena de galardones, de premios de actuaciones por todo el mundo. Actualmente imparte clases en el Conservatorio José Iturbi de Valencia. Os presento y quiero el primer aplauso de esta tarde noche para Juan Francisco Lago. Juan Francisco, bienvenido. Muy Muchas gracias por tu ayuda y, desde luego, tener un colaborador de este nivel ¿eh? es eh, también un privilegio. Bueno, vamos a hablaros un poquito de Lang Lang. Todos los que estamos aquí lo conocemos muy bien, pero, en fin, algunas pinceladas. Él nace, como sabéis, en Shenyang, en China, hace tan solo 33 años. Se sentó delante de un piano para tomar lecciones a la edad de tres años. A partir de ahí, no ha parado. Bueno, y, y lo que le queda, ¿eh? Se dice de él que la palabra que le define tanto a, a, al, al músico como al hombre, como a su visión del, del mundo, aquellos que están en contacto con él lo saben bien, es inspiración. Desde luego a todos nos inspira. Millones de personas con su forma de interpretar la música, con su forma de vivirla, con su forma de sentirla al piano. A él inspiraron también otros grandes compositores, como Litz, por una parte de su repertorio habitual, Chopin también, ha tocado con... Bueno, aquí la lista es muy extensa, Daniel Barenboim, Gustavo Dudamel, Simon Rattle, en fin, con todos los más grandes. Es un símbolo de la juventud en su país, en China y en todo el mundo. Y para transmitir esa inspiración hacia todos y sobre todo a los niños, él creó su propia fundación, que se llama, como sabéis sobradamente, fundación con su nombre Lang Lang. Allí tutela a jóvenes prodigios de todo el mundo. Su misión, educar, motivar a la siguiente generación de intérpretes, a la vuestra, e inspiraros para todos los amantes de la música clásica, eh, constituyendo la, la interpretación musical, la concibe como una manera, como un instrumento, como una herramienta de desarrollo social. Esto me parece destacable y especialmente importante. Esta masterclass entra dentro de los programas de esta fundación por todo el mundo, por tanto nos sentimos muy privilegiados y muy honrados de que eh, haya puesto también su mirada aquí. Eh, que nos hayan dado, por supuesto, esta posibilidad. Pero, en fin, no voy a extenderme más y no voy a privaros más de su figura, por lo que vamos a dar una bienvenida, un aplauso muy especial. Please welcome, Mr. Lang Lang. Thank you, Juan. Thank you. Very, very welcome, Mr. Lang. Thank you very much for being here. 
Queríamos, uh, maestro Lang, hacerte algunas preguntas antes de empezar la masterclass. Eh, no sé si es la primera vez, your first time here in Valencia, y cómo fue ese concierto de ayer en Valencia. Sabes, you know, el público valenciano appreciates very, very much music. Music, eh, la música forma parte de nuestra manera de ser, de nuestra manera de sentir la música en Valencia. Uh, first of all, gracias. Gracias. <laughs> Muchas gracias. <laughs> yes. uh, I've been in Valencia a few, few times before, uh, but this time is incredible. First of all, it was yesterday the concert. I love my audience. It was incredible. I got so touched uh, by the passion. Uh, and today, this is really one of the happiest days that I, I met my new friend, Bluga. Uh, Bluga. Um, and uh, yeah, this is the best, it's really the best uh, spiritual animal I ever met. Um, and it was very inspirational. Um, and also, you know, I never have any, you know, concert or class in front of uh, this beautiful <laughs> <laughs> tank. It's anyway. like, like, like playing to the sea. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I also played today uh, with a few sharks, actually many, many sharks, like 20, 30 sharks. I know there are more than 60 sharks here, uh, but I, I met some of them today while playing, and they were they they were liking you know the more darker pieces you know, and I, I can see the eyes and they they look at me like this, you know, <laughs> and, and uh, very effective. And there's some other fishes you know like like the flying fish, and uh, like he has a really nice smile and then like, uh, uh, you know because we have this beautiful curve on the tank right, so you see the fish and like, mm. <laughs> uh, I, it was great, it was so great. So, so I, you know, I, I'm so excited to be in, in this most spectacular stage, and I'm sure you know we have uh, two wonderful young pianists, and uh, we're ready to play uh, some music. And uh, if you also have some questions, um, you can you can ask. Uh, and so, so let's uh, start with uh, the music. Gracias. Vemos que además de un extraordinario músico y una gran inspiración para miles de jóvenes, es un experto en, 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 en diversos pescados y en el mundo marino, cosa que también celebramos desde luego, señor Lang. Su último disco, Lang Lang in Paris, presentado hace solo unos meses. Hemos visto imágenes precisamente de ese disco, Versalles, otro lugar realmente muy especial. ¿Satisfecho con la grabación? ¿Está funcionando bien? Next one, it need to be here. <laughs> yeah, the, the next concert need to be here. This concert yeah. here? Yeah, because this is the most <laughs> special <you>. place. <laughs> uh, and uh, Versailles was uh, special, but I have a new audience. You know, I mean, this is like how many of them? Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. He, want, he wanted to uh, uh, know to know uh, how it's working your CD, your recording in Paris. Oh, in Versailles. The, I mean, uh, I played the Tchaikovsky Seasons and the Chopin Four Scartos, which I actually played last night. Um, and uh, I wanted to do in this most beautiful hall, like Hall of Mero. Uh, you have this incredible chandeliers, you have this great garden, and uh, with the paintings on top. I thought it was a very inspirational room to, to perform. Because I, I play in many uh, concert hall before, but I, I wanted some somewhere very intimate. That's why we're doing it there. Estaba hablando, le disculpo, señor Lang, en castellano, como si me fuera a entender, no llevaba los cascos de traducción simultánea. Discúlpeme. Hace un momento estábamos mencionando la Fundación Lang Lang. We talk about the Foundation Lang Lang. Um, uh, it's possible to be here and, and create this masterclass uh, thanks to the, to the Foundation. What's the importance of uh, learning in your life? New generations. Right. I mean, I've, I've been very fortunate always having the best uh, lessons from the best musicians in the world. Uh, uh, and uh, so that's why, you know, I have this, um, some knowledge you know, about music and to always follow, you know, what do you call the right direction. Um, sometimes it's hard to, you know, to judge what is the right direction. But... Uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, great musicians can really inspire you to be on the right track. Um, so for me, it's, I always want to, you know, you know, when you get something, you need to share and to give back to make a balance. And this is also how, you know, how world should be functional. You know, and take and give back. 
and balance. yeah, the right balance uh, for. So, so for for me, it's very important to build up my own foundation, you know, with a bunch of friends, and to give back music education, and uh, and we we really need to do more, um, even though uh, every day uh, everyone is very busy, but still, everybody need to find time to you know use the time for the more meaningful things. And so here we go, and I hope you know we, we will have some good time this afternoon. Uh, that <laughs> makes you even greater. Oh, thank you. Sharing is okay. one of the best things in our lives. Eh, bueno, pues eh, vamos a pasar, si os parece, a presentar a la primera alumna que tendrá el placer de compartir esta clase con su idolatrado, Lang Lang, y además, mm -hmm. introducing the, the, yes. the, the young pianist. Okay. Eh, se trata de una fantástica pianista que nació en Valencia en el año 2000, tiene apenas 15 años y ha ganado prestigiosos premios internacionales como el Johan Musiciar en 2013 y 2014 en las modalidades de piano solista y dúo con violín. En julio de 2014 debutó en la Orquesta de Valencia en el Palau de la Música en el concierto para piano y orquesta número 23 de Wolfram Amadeus Mozart. Vamos a dar la bienvenida a Mar Valor. Bienvenida Mar. Hola Mar, ¿cómo estás? Hola. Bienvenida. Comentábamos eh, que no es la primera vez, pasa, pasa, por favor, desde luego. No es la primera vez que tienes el privilegio de tocar con el, con el maestro. Is, is not uh, your first time together? Our second time. Yeah. Second time. Not our first time. Second time. Yeah. Eh, ¿Cómo fue esa primera vez, Mar? Muy bien. Sí, fue una experiencia inolvidable en Barcelona, junto con otros pianistas de todo el mundo. Perfecto. Por nuestra parte, que hable la música, ¿os parece? Ok. I, I, you know, we had a wonderful time last time in Barcelona. Okay. Uh, it was yeah. we did a, a music camp, and now almost uh, one year and a half. Uh, we are now in Valencia, and uh, you are doing uh, the Rachamine of Prelude Number Five. Yeah, this is a great uh, piece, which uh, is one of my favorite uh, Rachamine of piece. Yeah. ¿Cuál es la pieza? Uh -huh. you have ¿Con el disco? Sí, sí, he tocado varias veces antes. Pero no importa. Sí, normalmente no quiero decir que sé la pieza. Pero sí, es increíble la tensión. Preludio en sol menor de Rachmaninov. Sí, sí, sí. Bueno, vamos a escuchar un poco de esta pieza. Sí, sí, sí. 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 Sí, sí,
Wow, you improved a lot since last time. How do you feel playing next to the fish? <laughs> yeah, beautiful? Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Especially, you know, when the middle part. Yes. Yeah, very good. No. Okay, so. In the very beginning, you need to think not to, I mean, it needs to be a group of people, whether it's marching or walking, you know, but from far, okay? So it's like, need to be a little bit darker and softer. So it's more like this. Not. Okay, so it's a little bit. Now. You need to make sure there are different instruments. You know, so let's say you have trumpet and this is the string uh, strings okay it's not it need to be different need to be and this is more like a percussion and then some some kind of a interrupted sound by some other instrument. Okay? So try to level out a little bit. Not everything the same. Okay? Yes. Completely different type of sound. Da da da, pop pop pop, ba da da, pop pop pop. You know, it's not da da da, ba ba ba, ba 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 ba. No, no, it need to be separated. Yes, da da da, ba ba ba. Make slight uh, rhythm um, beats. Oh, where is it? Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, don't play flat. So, okay, and now, you know, this is a very passionate person comes from there. Okay, so this is like now. Legato, you see that? Yeah, they need to be. Yeah, so this makes slightly more highlight. This need to come out a little bit. It's not just loud or soft, it's more about the direction. Okay? Yes. 
the shark comes. Okay? It's getting heavier and then this need to be kind of evil a little bit. You know, not too nice. So you need to let it go, you know, the sound needs to come out. And also, when you make a crescendo, don't rush. And then you need to feel that you are getting deeper, heavier. You are like two people now, okay? Shoulder. Yeah. Yes. I really need the accent. Da da da. Da da da. Yes. This not too soft. This is like a mezzo piano. Bum 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 bum. Now, oh, see it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is like a beautiful girl comes, and yeah, just like you. Okay. So, but you need to really. Bring your heart out, okay? So. Voices. You know, so it needs to come out like a big romantic theme, you know, and, and, you know, don't worry, take your time. Maybe not the first phrase, but, you know, when you go, you can do the, when the, the phrase turns, you can do a Rachmanino rubato, it's fine. But, you know, not in the beginning, but you need to come out a little bit more. You know, one more time. Yes.
little red, red, red. It's hard now. Hold on, hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. So. <laughs> It was very good, very good. Um, one more thing, this part. Soft. Don't play. Yeah, that's it. Now, this is gonna be legato. Also, Good. here also, don't play. You know what I mean? But then it's a little bit mixed up. Okay. Here's how how many piece? Three, right? So maybe. And this is not too too long. See? Now, now it's longer the note. Okay, but this is a little bit short. Let's try that again. This triple piano. No, no, too loud. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, one more time. S same tension, but touch. Touch a little bit softer. You know, you need to think about this actually goes up the keys, not because this automatically is heavier. You know, you should be like goes out the keys. See? Hand. See? Not because that's put natural weight. Okay, so you go from the keys up. That is how we control the, you know, pianissimo. Eh? It's very slow, slow. Yeah, very soft. Yes. 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 So that gives the more time to really come out. You know, it, the sound needs little time. No matter how powerful you are, if you just play, nobody will hear it. You need to be, it's like, you know what I mean? It, it gives this more tension. This is more the volume uh, of the sound, not just, you know, simply louder. It, it, it gives a more content. If you take just two percent of your speed, you hold you hold the note a little longer. Bam, pee, dee, 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 you know, it's like you know, the very simple thing. You know, when you um, you shake hands, right? If you just 
this. We can shake really hard, but then goodbye, right? But you were like, you see what I mean? Like just two seconds longer, the whole experience is different. So this is something, you know, you don't need to slow down, but just bump. Just try that. Yes! This need to be slightly longer. This is short. You see that? Rock mine was pretty precise on the tenutos, staccatos, the accent. You know, you need to really make sure that you get that sound out. One more time. Yes, yes, yes. And then don't wait too long for the next one. So this is need to be a one. Uh, you need to breathe quick, quickly. You know, Six. because when you have this quick breathing, it's much more effective. It's like taking a nap. You know, if you're taking a nap for two hours, you wake up like. Where am I? You know, and, but if you take this, what do you call power nap, right? Like twenty minutes, you wake up, you know, <laughs> like that. So this is something you know you don't take long time because see, oh my goodness, it doesn't have this clash. See, you see, then it's. You know, this kind of a psychological thing. You know, this the quick breath. Bah! You know, it has a better uh, result. No, but, but your hand need to be prepared already. You know, it's like hold on, dum bum 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 bum. You see, the hand it cannot be dum bum. I'm here, and then, oh, oh dum. No, that's like too late. Okay, one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you don't need to play so fast. The connection I'm talking about. But then, bum, 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 bum. yes. It's like this very bad laughing, you know. Like yeah. this need to be heavier, okay? And then. Music sometimes need to be horizontal, sometimes need to be vertical, right? And if everything you know you play beautifully, seriously, it's fantastic. But you need to bring more of these personalities. You know, then you have all those you know levels of uh, sound, you know, of characters. You know, let's try that again. Yes. Oh, all the way. Yeah. Yes. Which I know. Also need to be more contrast. See? Hmm. 
not. It needs to be different kind of sound. And this is a leggero, but it needs to be soft and legato. The legato is like this. Okay, so not need to be. You know what I mean? I think it's like where? You know, that that kind of thing. Okay, <laughs> one more time. Yeah, here at the end. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and then you one phrase. I mean, you know, one big phrase, but never. The important thing is here. Okay, that I need to hear. Yeah, and the last one, less. Okay, one more time. Yeah, bum, boom. Yeah, yeah, something like that. You see, it's not thump, but it's thump, boom. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing, you know. Anyway, so just try to, you know, and practice slowly with this. Like this, you need to practice here. Soft and short, just like the strings, you know. And then sometimes, da da da, da da da. But don't make this so important that kind of become kind of a bothering voice for boom 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 boom. It should be boom 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 boom. Ba ba boom, 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 ba ba boom, ba ba boom. It's not, you know, this thing is only in the rhythm and the, the, the great kind of motif, but it's not a um, kind of a. You need to follow the ma melodic line, but that's not melody. You need to really separate it. Otherwise, it become bum ba ba bum 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 da 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 da. You know, then I don't. I'm not so sure where are the melodies. Okay, so this is you need to practice slowly that part. And then, you know, the quick boom, let it go, you know, boom, 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 boom. Oh. But other than that, it's not a major problem. It just need to be more symphonic. Think Rachmaninoff, you know, Rachmaninoff is a composer and Brahms also, they're very symphonic. You know, Chopin is more operatic, you know, but, you know, people start like Brahms or Rachmaninoff, it's, you need to think about more as a symphony. You need to bring the more trombones, you know, and also the percussions, okay? And, and make sure, because Rachmaninoff has so much notes, so many notes, you know, I mean, everywhere. This is not a, the, the, the most notes piece, you know, but you know, the Rachmaninoff first concerto, second, third, Paganini and Rahman Sonata, it's only notes, you know. But the important thing, how do you balance? How do you use the content to make like a puzzle game, you know? Make this numbers, make the other numbers in second level, make the, you, you know, a group of other, you need to really analyze on those. Otherwise, his music is very easy to play, kind of a lot of notes, and a lot of kind of even or loud 
kind of a passages, and you don't know what I'm listening. You know, this, this is sometimes is the the challenge of Ramayana. Yeah, but you will get it for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Bien, pues muchas gracias a Mark y por supuesto a Lang Lang como nos hace.